Hi, I'm Calvin the Destroyer with Dungeon Studios Prototype, and today I wanted to show you my tiny DC generator, which I now have a version 2 out for it. You might remember the video where I showed you the version 1. This is the first prototype. This one uses only one phase of the uh, two coils that are within inside this stepper motor. And I've rewired it so that the one phase comes out and goes through a four-way bridge rectifier. This rectifier then sends a power to these two capacitors, which are just tied in parallel. And as you can see, every time I break the uh, magnetic field that's inside this thing, it generates about one to two volts. Not a whole lot, but then when you put it, in, put it in with those caps, it charges up quite a bit. And it doesn't matter which way you go either on the stepper motors, it works in either direction, so it's pretty handy. And then charge it up, and you get a little spark. Well, not supposed to do that, but this is the prototype. I wanted to show you the Dude. version 2. Not along the same concept. We have a tiny little stepper motor. This time it's wired out so that both coils that are inside here are terminated to a little circuit board. Now, instead of having a bridge, four-way bridge rectifier, I have what's similar to a three-phase bridge rectifier. If you ever worked with 483 phase, you'd be familiar with what that is. And then it comes out to two caps. Now, instead of a three-phase rectifier, it's pretty much a three-phase rectifier with just one leg missing. So it's a two-phase rectifier. Now, you could try to tie the two coils in parallel and just run them through one four-way bridge rectifier, but now you could try tying both coils in parallel, but that probably wouldn't work because the signals coming off this are similar to an AC signal. It's very noisy looking, but close enough to get some rectification on them. You, know, you can tie them to parallel, but they're not in phase with each other, and that's why you have to go with a three-phase style rectifier. And this one is a three-phase rectifier with one leg missing. And then again, I have two nice uh, caps in parallel to help store some of the charge that comes out of it. Now here we have a mock setup. Uh, I don't have a windmill to turn a generator, but here I have a little motor. I get the generator spin in with a small gear reduction out of Legos. Firing this guy up, we're breaking the coils and we're getting some power out of it. Here we have my test setup. We have a motor driving a little gear reduction box to the tiny generator. Uh, usually you'd have a windmill, but I don't have a windmill available. It works for testing. Okay, to start off, let's take a look at what's actually coming out of the generator. I've hooked, unhooked it from the rectifier board and hooked up to my oscilloscope. You see I got three wires for uh, the two things. You can see our crappy little sine wave there. Uh, it's not actually too bad. There's a little bit of a hiccup in the uh, crossover. You check the other coil. You can see this also has a sine wave on it. It's a little bit sloppier than the first one, but we have two sine waves. Okay, now we're looking at the rectification without the capacitance. I'm going to see what it looks like here. You see now we have positive going peak. So we have a pulsating DC current. I'm guessing the big one is one uh, phase and the smaller one's another phase. Can't really tell unless I had a dual trace scope. The filter capacitor. Let's see what it looks like. It looks like we have perfect DC regulation going on just with that big filter cap alone. See, we've already climbed up to 9 volts, 10 volts. What I like to do is we're going to load this down. I'm going to start with 10 ohms. 10 ohms drops it down to 1.4 volts. That's really quite a load for it. We step this up to 100 ohms. 100 ohms is staying in at 2.6 volts. 
And we're going to go up to 4.7K. Now 4.7K is actually allowing the voltage to rise. So the generator is producing more than what the load is drawn. At least, I think it's a 9 volts, 10 volts. Now, move on over. Okay, uh, it looks like it's staying steady at 11 volts. So, right now we got a resistance load and power at 11 volts is staying steady. So uh, I can easily say that this generator can drive this load at 11 volts. Let's see what that load is. We have a load of 8.42K, so that's 8,420 ohms. So we know our resistance, 8.42K ohms. And the power was 11.04. Since we only have one resistor, that makes RT equal R. 42k ohms. Now we can calculate it out. Yeah. Calculus calculator for stuff you could probably do in your head. Power stays the same. Since there's only one resistor, it sees all the power. 11.04 volts. Now let's figure out the current and look up power. Now for some calculations. I, do, 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 do. Eleven point oh four over eight four two zero. Yeah, I was right. One point three milliamps. There's only one uh, thing in here. Series the uh, current stays the same. 0.3 milliamps for IT for current total. Let's take a look at uh, E times I. The 11.04 times 0 0.0013. I'll do this accurately. 11164 gives me 0.01. So I'm going to just call that 14 milliwatts. <laughs> yeah, so the generator in total is putting out about 14 milliwatts. If my calculations are correct, just doing E times I for wattage to give me a power rating. We only have a 8.4 k ohm resistance and it's only putting out 11.04 volts so you take all this into your head and figure out like how many uh, turns per second it was doing and as long as you get that much and it goes to a capacitor that can hold it you could probably run some kind of battery charger like a trickle charger that wouldn't be too bad so I hope that answers some of your questions about what I designed and what I came up with. The uh, main concept behind these tiny little generators is that I wanted them to be small. Uh, there's some restrictions from where I live as to putting up uh, 103,000 foot tall generators of big, big wind turbines, so the city kind of yelled at me for that. But with these tiny little DC generators, and just a small circuit and maybe even a battery trickle charger, I could probably put 20 of these out in my front yard with little pinwheels on them. Let them blow in the wind and nobody would even know that I'm generating free power. Now all I need to do, figure out how to attach this guy. Hope you enjoyed watching and I'll hope to post some more videos soon. Subscribe to my channel, keep in touch.